Mr. P40. He is going to race Jerry McCart. Jerry McCart is going to give that three engine dragster. That's not good. Yep, he sure did. He's got to get unstrapped. There goes the fire truck. Now we are addressing the situation. See how rapidly our highly trained and rehearsed fire trucks are making their way out to the sea. Keep you posted as to what's going on. There are a lot of vibrations in those jet trucks and perhaps a line broke, a fuel line broke, and with the afterburner. There in the raw flames, you can see how fast things happen. Here's what we see that's uh, comforting. I don't know if you can see it from your vantage point, but uh, out away from the vehicle is the driver, Jerry McCart. I mean, he got out okay. Fire professionals were on the roll just a couple of seconds after the raw flames were visible to us. They were in strategic hey. positions. They were part of our safety briefing this morning and every morning, our mandatory safety briefing. If you're gonna be in the show, you've gotta be at the briefing. And as they're fond of saying, no briefing, no performance. You don't play on our show. Everybody's gotta have an understanding. So what these fire professionals did, they positioned their trucks in a strategic way to be able to be close to any one of the situations that could happen. They're manned, they're in full uniform, full fire uniform. They're sitting in the seat. Some days it's 90 degrees, some days it's 95 degrees. They're in full uniform. They're ready to go at a moment's notice. They're not outside the cab, they're not out of uniform. They take that very seriously. The other thing they had accomplished, they being the firemen, that before any of our aircraft flew on Friday for our afternoon, twilight, and evening show, they went to every performer and got a thorough briefing and the extraction process in case something happened to the airplane or the performer. The firemen knew exactly where to go, the door, the canopy, the canopy latch, the quick disconnect, whatever it may be, they briefed themselves with the help of the crew member or the pilot and knew exactly on every airplane, not just a few, but every airplane, the idiosyncrasy of where to extract the pilot on the ground if there was a situation. So throughout the course of our safety briefings, both here and any place we go, in this form of entertainment, You'll hear a lot of things, and of course, uh, Ralph Boyce is our award-winning air boss. He's from Houston, Texas, recipient of the highest award in the air show industry, known as the Sword of Excellence, and a longtime chairman of the board of directors of our parent organization, known as the International Council of Air Show. So the word in the briefing lasts about 45 to 55 minutes in most cases. You'll hear this word, that uh, is repeated more than any other word in the briefing by many different people. And that word is safety, safety, safety. From the beginning of the briefing until the last thing before Ralph disperses all of the performers to go their separate ways and get ready for the show, it is safety, safety, safety. And 